Hey guys, so this is a review for the Sunvision Cyclone Mini PC. Unlike a Chromecast or Apple TV, this little beast packs a quad-core CPU with Intel HD graphics. That means it can actually run Windows 10, Google Chrome, 4K videos on YouTube, Steam. Yes, yeah, Steam. You can actually play games on this thing. Or even use it as a NAS drive for Final Cut Pro. So the device itself is really small. It's comparable to the Chromecast. It comes with a HDMI extension cable as well as a charger. The cool thing about this guy is it has an ethernet port for faster internet speeds. Even though the manual says it's a USB 2, it's actually USB 3. To turn it on, you just hit on the power button. It boots up into Windows 10 with a nice Intel logo. I'm using the RE8 wireless keyboard and trackpad to control the device. Now the RE8 is really sexy. Ooh. It's, it feels Ooh. really nice to touch and hold. At the back, there's a USB receiver that you just plug into the USB port and now you can control Windows. Just make sure you don't hit the power button to start it up, because it actually would turn off the device. Oh! Now the trackpad is actually fun to use. Setting up Windows was the standard process of disabling all the privacy features. Then after a little wait, Windows was actually up and running. No way! I've just got a new toy. It's really light and it feels like one of those like um, Xbox PlayStation consoles, but it's connected to the internet for some reason. Like I don't know how, but it's like a remote control for the laptop. What, how, why have you got windows? What is this? It's behind the TV. No, is that a Windows computer? It's, it's tiny! Oh my goodness! So even though my old MacBook Pro 2014, it would chug on a 4K video on YouTube, this guy worked completely fine. We watched The Apprentice from this thing. That's so cool. Wi-Fi speeds was comparable to my current limits I'm getting on my router. Well, look at that. No way. As you can see, you can go ahead and play those casual games on the Windows Store. But what's even cool is you can actually run Steam. So here I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. This is done thanks to the capabilities of using a full operating system like Windows. Unlike Google Chromecast, where you can only stream videos, with Steam, I can actually stream a full-on game from my more powerful computer over to this device. You can also play games natively. While there is a bit of slowness in loading up certain levels, especially if it's doing asynchronous loads, I did manage to get Sonic All-Star Racers to run pretty fast at 480p. However, it is a lot faster and slicker if you do stream it. After playing some of these games, and I did notice it was slightly warm, I have been running it for about a week now, non-stop. I haven't turned it off and I've had no problems so far. While the device only comes with one USB port, you can plug in a USB extender. And as it's USB free, I managed to get a few hard drives on there. To get it working on my monitor, I had to use a HDMI female to female adapter. I set it up as a NAS drive alternative and tried streaming files over to my laptop. I was getting about two and a half megabytes a second. However, this was just a limitation of my old router. When I plugged it in over the ethernet, the speeds were faster enough for me to be able to stream 4K video over to my Mac and also do some edits and scrubbing in Final Cut Pro. That's so cool. <laughs> this is cooler than an Apple TV because you've got everything that you need with this kit and it feels really nice and soft. I love it. <sighs> Best thing about it, guess how much it costs? No, I don't know. £100? £1,000? £80. Really? £80. Eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. And you get good. the whole window. It's not like. Why would you not get? Why would you not buy this? My mind is blown as just as yours is. Technology seriously has advanced. I remember we used to have like an old PC. 